Water has always been San Diego County's most precious natural resource. From the arrival of the first peoples to its current status as a vibrant economic hub, vast military industrial complex, and a top vacation destination. What's amazing is that the region has become what it is today despite very little rainfall, no major local sources of fresh water, and periodic long dry spells. Planning for a safe and reliable source of water under these conditions is a complex, challenging, and critical component of living in this place we call home. The Kumeyaay people were the earliest inhabitants of the region. They managed their water supply by building small dams and levees that stored water for drinking and irrigating crops, especially during the seemingly endless summers. In 1769, Father Junipero Serra arrived in San Diego and started constructing the first mission along the California coast. Two years later, they moved the San Diego mission six miles from its original location to more easily access the San Diego River, where they built the first major dam and aqueduct on the Pacific coast. With the arrival of the railroad in the late 1880s, San Diego grew rapidly. Commerce expanded, farmers planted more lucrative citrus crops, and city dwellers adopted irrigated landscapes. Small water companies could not keep up with demand, and city leaders began to see the need for a municipal water system. In 1886, the region's first major water project took shape when the San Diego Flume Company was formed to build Cuyamaca Dam. The region's population continued to expand in the early 1900s, but the water supplies weren't always reliable. After a decade of drought, the San Diego City Council agreed in 1915 to pay self-proclaimed rainmaker Charles Hatfield $10,000 to fill Morena Reservoir. After Hatfield applied two dozen secret chemicals on nearby mountains, the deluge started. And it didn't end until roads and bridges were wiped out across the county. By 1926, civic leaders were pursuing more certain water supplies from faraway sources such as the Colorado River. San Diego City Attorney Shelley J. Higgins drove to Yuma and placed a tin can stuffed with legal notices to claim the city's water rights in a pile of stones next to the mighty Colorado River. That secured the city's rights to an enormous amount of water, 112,000 acre feet per year. Despite the claim, San Diego lacked the physical means to tap the Colorado River. That changed with the bombing of Pearl Harbor in 1941. San Diego became the home of the largest military industrial complex in the world. And in a few years, the population doubled. The rapid expansion meant the region soon needed more water than local supplies could provide and the San Diego County Water Authority was formed in June 1944 to import and distribute Colorado River water. Later that year, President Franklin D. Roosevelt ordered the Navy to build a pipeline that would connect San Diego to the recently completed Colorado River Aqueduct, built by the Los Angeles-based Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. Upon joining Metropolitan, San Diego's rights to Colorado River water were added to Metropolitan's allotment. The first Colorado River waters reached the city of San Diego's San Vicente Reservoir the day before Thanksgiving Day, 1947, and not a moment too soon. The region had less than three weeks of water supplies left, another reminder that the search for water is a constant challenge in San Diego County's history.